Hello guys, Kudochi and welcome to another video. So today I'll be reviewing POPDX Mihawk, or actually Dracul Mihawk. So first let's take a tour of the box. So there's the toy sticker. And I think it's a pretty boring box to be honest, because it's just a brown box. And for some reason the Aokiji is on there as well, as well as the back. And it's not really very personalized, and with personalized I mean it doesn't have any Mihawk logos on the box or something. And with personalized I mean, let's take a look at the Boa Hancock that just came out. So as you can see it has a blue kimono, and then of course the box is all blue. And her pirate mark is all over the box, so it's a really personalized box. So, and Mihawk doesn't have that, have that. let's put this back here. It's just a brown box. I'm not saying it's bad, but it's not very good either. So yeah, of course Mihawk, great figure. So that is the box of Mihawk. Let's put it here. Now let's take a look at the figure itself. So, oh, let's put it in here. This is Mihawk, and I think it looks really cool. He has this sort of looking down pose, so you can't see his face when I, you uh, put it like this. So let's take a look at the base first. And also he stands on its own, which is really cool. It says seven worlds of the sea, but it actually has to be seven warlords of the sea. Don't know why they said seven worlds. So here we have the World Government logo and Mihawk. So very nice base, a sort of black, uh, purple, shiny color. So let's put Mihawk on the base again. And as with most of the POPs, you just have holes in the foot to put the packs onto the base. And let's take a look at the detail. We're gonna put out the sword first, which we're gonna show you guys later. So yeah, let's take a look at the hat first. The hat is bigger than I expected and it looks really cool. And instead of a just a white feather, they got with a transparent feather. And then we have the face of Mihawk, which is a very serious face. And it truly fits him because he's a very serious man. And I've only seen him laugh one or twice in the whole anime One Piece series. So very job well done. And then we have its crucifix knife over here, which I'm going to show you later on as well. So we have his rock hard abs over there, which looks nice. The belt buckle is very cool too. Then we have his pants with nice, nice shading effect. And I very adore his boots, they look very cool. Let's take a look at the back of Mihawk. So you have the whole cape here, it's really cool. And then we have the holder for its sword. And the sword is called the Koktu Yoro, or actually the Black Blade. And it's the most powerful sword in the whole One Piece world. So yeah, very cool. And the sleeves of the arms are very beautiful flower pattern. Which I think looks really cool. And now let's take a look at its knife. So you just have to pop the head off and the head is on a square pack instead of a ball joint. And I forgot to tell you, this kit or figure came out in 2009, so that's four years ago. So you have his crucifix, you can just pop the bottom piece off. And what you have to do then is put the knife piece on. And it takes a little bit of force, so it's very fragile, so be very careful. So yeah, that's his knife. Pretty nice, hope you can see it. And you can also put the knife in its hand, yeah. although it's a bit loose, but it works. Oh, come on. Okay. Oh. Yes. It's a bit loose, but it works a little bit. <laughs> uh, but what I prefer is always having this uh, necklace on his neck. So I'm gonna put the blade out again. Put the gold piece in again and put it over the neck. This is what I like the most. So I'm gonna put Mihawk's head on top. Okay, and Mihawk comes with another hand. And you can only switch this hand out. This one is uh, firm so it doesn't come out. So just pull this one out. And then you have a sort of gripping hand. 
just like to grip a sword and you can just put it like this in here if you want to and we're gonna pull it out because I'm gonna show you how to equip the sword you just have to have this open equipping hand which you just put on the figure like this and of course the one baddest ass thing about this figure is of course the enormous sword or the cock to your black blade so it has a sort of sapphire or sapphire sphere or maybe is sapphire or lapis I don't know it has some of those blue and green spheres all over the blade so the handle of the blade is a sort of linen wrapped effect which I think is very well done and then the gold piece extends to half of half length of the black blade and instead of just a black blade they got a black blade with sparkles inside them I hope you can see it I think it's a bit hard to see on camera but it sparkles a bit which is really cool and of course you can equip the black blade onto Miyok's back which looks really cool and a very badass thing as well is that you can equip it so what you have to do is I'll show you in the close so you have this hand and you just put the handle in it and then press and what happens then oh come on what happens then is the hand will grip the sword and then you can just put it back in Oh, like this oh and yeah <laughs> I got it right now and then it fits so these two fingers over here grip onto the sword if you press into it and then the sword stays put and although there is a new Mioc coming out in October uh, even though one new one is coming out I really wanted to have this one because it's uh, yeah a sort of old school and I'm very looking forward to Mihawk, the new Mihawk as well. I already pre-ordered it. So I can't wait as well. And they're just both great figures. So really cool. And you can just, of course, if you want to sort of it like this. You can just grip it like that. So just how you want it. And yeah, so this was my review of P.O.P. Dracula Mihawk. I hope you liked it. And I will see you guys next time in another One Piece review. Bye guys!